speaking of records, have we got any uh, that are coming out that you've recorded that we haven't heard yet? Yes, uh, the theme song for my next picture will be out about the middle of the next month. What is the picture? Jailhouse Rock. That's a single 45. Huh? Yes. How did you find Hal Wallace as a producer director? He's a very, very, very fine gentleman. Did he help you out, or who was the big help and aid in your show loving you? Well, there's nobody who helps you out. They have a director and a producer. And just, uh, as far as the acting and as far as singing and all, you lay your own your own. I mean, nobody tells you how to do that. You have to learn it yourself. How do you rate yourself as an actor? Pretty bad. I mean, I don't know. Uh, that's something you learn through experience. I, I, I think that well, maybe I might accomplish something at it through the years. You think it's just the sake of uh, acting natural? Don't you do that in your last two pictures? I'd say you have. Uh, in, uh, in some scenes, I was pretty natural. Mm -hmm. In others, I was trying to act. And when you start trying to act, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Would you say that Jordan Ayers helped you a lot in your, in your career with your songs, backing you up? Well, uh, I mean, do you think the assist the boys have done a, they have done a very fine job, the Jordan Airs have, but actually that there's a lot of groups, you know, there's a lot of very fine groups that back different people up on their records. They are under contract with Capital, are they not? Yes. I know you're under terrific strain after a show. How do you, how do you taper down? What relaxes your nerves after a big show like tonight? Well, uh, take for instance, last night we had a show in Vancouver and, uh, uh, I didn't, I didn't sleep any until about 10 o'clock today. I just, uh, I get all keyed up, and, I, and it's, it's tough to relax. What do you do before a show to uh, help defer some of the excitement or the tension? I just walk around and swallow and <laughs> <laughs> clench my fist. Yes, sir. Pay for that guitar. Uh, what was the question? The guitar. Guitar. How much you pay for the guitar? For the guitar? What, what did you pay for About, your guitar? About uh, $500, I think. Yes. Was it specially constructed or... No, it's a standard guitar. I have a leather cover over it. I had that, I had that made. Ladies next. Do you find that touring is much more harder on you than making movies or doing TV shows? Well, touring is the roughest part. It, it, it uh, It's really rough because, I mean, you're in a town and you do a show, you come off, you're riding a car, you're going to the next town. Well, do you prefer uh, more to uh, making movies on, and doing TV or would you rather... Just stick to movies and records. Well, uh, I think every performer likes to work to a live audience. How's the Pacific Northwest struck you? What you've uh, seen of it and performed? Oh, it's, 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 it's terrific. It, it's 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 really it's really it's really beautiful country up here. Mm -hmm. How's the weather down in Memphis when you left? Or were you in Memphis before coming yes. to the Northwest? Yes, I was. I was home. Uh, it was beautiful weather. I was the. Why did you have the Great Northern train stop two miles out of town today and get and get off there and get the train stop two miles out of town? That's also good. Planning. We don't get all things at all, so don't buy it if you want. I have it that way. The fans are waiting for you. Well, you, usually I can't. Hey, that's right. I can't get in. <laughs> uh, see, I, I, I have to prepare for a show that night. Uh, Not only that he wants to be around for it, right? Yes. <laughs> and, and, and therefore, I, 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 I have to rest, and, and we have rehearsals in the afternoon. So I don't have too much time. I'm actually pressed for time. It's not, that I, it's not that I'm trying to avoid them, because that's certainly not it. It's just that I, I'm rushed for time, and I, I have to make every, every, every moment count when I'm on the road. You mean you can make more faster time in the town in your Cadillac than you can by in the train? I beg your pardon? Make faster time in the town on your Cadillac than you can by train. Well, actually, you're trying to trap me now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, <Okay>. Next. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> stops all of a sudden. Have you ever been thrown by a question, uh, Elvis? You've been through a lot of interviews. What, what question do you uh, dislike the most? I don't know. Like I said, I've been asked everything. Uh, if 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 the, if they're if they're too rough. If they're too rough, if, if they're too rough, I just, I just, I can't answer them naturally. How do you feel about being asked questions about your personal life? Do you think an entertainer should be uh, uh, asked myriad questions about marriage and what girls is going with and so forth? How does that strike you personally? Well, let's face the facts. Uh, any, any, anybody that's in, in the public eye is uh, 
uh, their life is never private. I mean, everything you do, the public knows about it, and that's the way it's always been. That's the way it'll always be. Elvis, you've been on the road for a long, long time, and it's about time you had a nice big rest because you deserve it. Where would you like to go for a holiday somewhere? Africa. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? You find no, a lot? No, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, uh, there's a lot of places that I would like to go. Have you considered a holiday? I mean, you've been on the go for, what, two years now? Just about? About a year and a half. About anyway. four years. I four think. years? Yes. Well, this, is, this uh, throws a different light on things altogether. What happened four years ago? Did you get your start four years ago? Yes. Where? In Memphis. Is that when the first record came out? Yeah. What was it? That's All Right Mama or something else? Yeah, that, that's the name of it. Uh, no, uh, actually, actually, I wasn't I wasn't known at all until Colonel Parker started managing me, you see, and, and I got on RCA Victor and and on television, and, uh, no, and then I started being known. Before that time, you were recording on the Sun label for yes. Sam Phillips down in Memphis? Yes, uh, I, I was known in certain sections, you know, and, but I wasn't known all over. Was... Uh, the record was it Dewey that played the first one? Is he related to the other Phillips in any way? No, they're not. They're, they're no kin. No, Just a coincidence. No. He says he was the first one to play. <laughs> I don't know. You want to go abroad someday? Beg your pardon. You want to go overseas someday? Yes, I, I would like to. I would like to. <laughs> That yep. wasn't me, folks. It's these guys <laughs> clashing these mics. <laughs> Sword fight. What are your thoughts on permanent retirement? I'd like to. <laughs> voluntary. No, voluntary. On your own free will. Retirement? Yeah. What do, what do you think about it? Just quit well, it. <laughs> when? I, oh, well, I'll put it like this. I, I'll never quit as long as I'm doing okay. You'll never quit as long? What do you consider doing okay? Well, I mean, as long as you're... As a public, as long as you're pleasing the people, you'd be foolish to quit. Elvis, we're running a marathon right after this interview here tonight from uh, 11 until whatever time it takes tomorrow morning. Would you like to say something to everybody out there tonight listening into the show? Would you like to say, uh, to look for your new release or anything? Just say hi to them all? I sure would. And I, I, I li I'd like to tell everybody, uh, uh, <laughs> to see Jill, I was wrong. Sure. <laughs> sure. Well, that's good. Sure. Get it a plug. No, I would like to tell everybody, uh, uh how very much I appreciate it, uh, them listening t t t to my records and everything. And, uh, well, I can say this I, much. I, I'll do my best to, uh, to continue to mm -hmm. please them and uh, put out songs and movies that they like. Well, thank you very best. kindly. Alva, oh, oh, go ahead. Uh, when you get caught in a mob or something, uh, have you ever been seriously hurt by the girls? Yes, I have. I've been, uh, I've been uh, scratched and bitten and everything. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What do you think about it? What do you think about being scratched? What do I think? Of, well, uh, I just, I just, <laughs> I just accept it with a broad mind because actually they don't intend to hurt you. I mean, it's not that. They just, they want, they want pieces of you for souvenirs. And all. <laughs> Elvis, you got a crowd out here tonight. What do you consider your best crowd, your best show that you've ever had? I mean, every entertainer feels like, well, in this town here, I had a terrific time and everybody was wonderful. What do you consider your favorite place? Well, uh. I have no favorite place. No, but the one that stands uh, out in your memory, shall we say? Probably the, <coughs> uh, the biggest crowd was in Dallas, Texas last year. Was that a good I, crowd? Yes, I played the Cotton Bowl. I had uh, 32,000 people there. Wow. What is that stone in the beautiful ring on your left hand? That's a uh, star sapphire. There was a girl who gave that to me in California. Uh, uh, a crowd of people can hurt you and not even realize they're doing it, you know. Well, well, you haven't much of a private life right now, then, have you? No, sir, I haven't. Well, where do you go for a quiet cup of coffee nowadays? I, uh, uh, when I'm traveling around, I don't go anywhere. I just, I just, uh, eat in a room. When do you head out to the Army, Elvis? The Army? Yeah, are you going into the Army? Your military service, I haven't, I haven't heard from them. I don't know. You haven't heard anything from them no, at all? I haven't. So you weren't linked to Confidential Magazine, but what do you think of the Confidential <laughs> Magazine trial? Well, I don't know what to think about it. It's, uh... Uh, just so I don't get involved in it, that's all I worry about. It doesn't matter much. How do you like the motion picture field, Elvis? I think it's great. It's, in fact, uh, I like it better than any phase of the business other than the, other than the, uh, the public appearances. You'd rather uh, be in movies than sing, shall we say? Well, I, no, I'm not going to say that. You, you don't want to commit yourself there, eh? No, okay. Why don't we see more of you on television, seeing as you can command so, such big fees? Uh, <laughs> big audience, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I guess Colonel Parker could probably answer that if he's here. He's not well, here, we'll is he? Speak to him later, Elvis. Uh, and uh, what about your trip? Uh, what's your reaction been of girls across different sections of the country? Are they all the same? Well, crowds of uh, <coughs> young people are are pretty well the same all over the country. I find out. 
Well, Canadians are supposed to be a little more subdued. Have you found that with Canadian girls? <laughs> <laughs> don't you get tired of newsmen and the cameramen all the time, Elvis? No, I don't mind them. No, really? <laughs> really? The uh, rock and roll craze is dying, Elvis? No, sir, I don't think it's dying. Uh, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that it won't die out, but I don't think it is right now. Elvis, who would you say is responsible for your uh, greatest success in uh, the music field? I mean, uh, getting your big start away. Where did you get your start? Was it in Western music that you got your start? How did Hank Snow fit into the picture if he did? Well, uh, at the time that I started singing, Colonel Tom Parker was managing Hank Snow. I see. And uh, that's how we got connected. Uh, I don't know why Hank and my name were, were linked together so much, because actually we wasn't uh, connected in any way in business. You, I, I, ju I just worked on some of Hank's uh, uh, personal appearances. Do you know his son at all? Yeah, Jimmy Rogers Snow, yes. Yeah, I did know. you ever pal around with him or anything? Yes, yes, quite a bit. Did you go to school with him down in Memphis? No, I never went to school. Do you know Dewey Phillips down in Memphis? Very well. He said to say hello to you. I was talking to him on the phone this afternoon. Good deal. Elvis, is your first love Western music? No, sir, it's not. Uh, my uh, my first, I would say, would be uh, spiritual music. Uh, like Peace in the Valley and that. Not exactly that. I mean, uh, some of the old uh, colored spirituals, you know, from years back. Elvis, your I, actions I, make quite a reaction in the audience. What is your opinion of the audience? What is my appearance? Uh, uh, um, would you say that again? What is your opinion, <laughs> <laughs> so your what is your opinion, opinion of, of the people? people who oh, are... opinion of, uh, of the audience. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would make a <laughs> it would look pretty funny out there without one. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, actually, uh, I suppose you're talking about all the all the yelling and everything. That's right. uh, actually, it's good because it covers up my mistakes. You see, I mean, <laughs> well, so you... whenever I hit a sour note, well, nobody knows it but me. This new flame, Anita, is this Anita Wood? Anita Wood, well, she's, uh... uh -huh. she, she's what, Elvis? <laughs> oh, incidentally, she won a beauty contest last night where she gets a seven-year contract for, uh, with Paramount Pictures. She called me last night. Well, we're firing questions right and left here. Let me fire one at you. If everything folded up tomorrow, which it isn't going to by looks of things, what would you do? What, what would you Go do? Go back to driving a truck. You like driving a truck? <laughs> no, I, I don't know what I would do. That's, uh... That's uh, counting your chickens before they hatch. I, I actually, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to become a. You know, I'd like to learn a lot about acting. Who is your favorite actor on the screen, Elvis? I have quite a few. Uh, How about James Dean? Did you like him? Yes, you yes. really did. And uh, Ewell Brenner and Marlon Brando and well, quite a few of them. Any I, plans uh, for more motion pictures? Yes, I have. Uh, I have. I have contracts for about eight more. What about TV appearances? We don't see you too often on TV, except on the Ed Sullivan Show occasionally. Well, I have no control over that, you see. I have an age, uh, a, a manager that uh, that takes care of that for me. I, I don't even know. Are you happier now, or were you happier when you were driving a truck and could have a quiet cup of coffee? Well, I'm happier now in, in a lot of ways. and In some ways, I mean, I was having a lot of fun then, you know. What do you think of TV? I mean, compared to the movies, you worked in both of them. What do you think of TV? I mean, uh, not that we're uh, slamming. I, 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 I like movies better than I do TV work. Because you've got more time to uh, yeah, well, do things I, right? If you goof on, on movies, you can just go back and take it over. In TV, you just goof. <laughs> I see what you mean. There's no uh, time to uh, repair the mistakes. There's no going back and taking it over. That's right. Elvis, how are you fixed for the future? I know the contract for Victor is good for the future. What are your plans in the future? Can you uh, well... I have quite a few things. I've got I have, uh, two music firms, and then I have, uh, like I said, uh, a seven-year contract with Paramount Pictures, whereas uh, each year it, it uh, amounts to more money. When, uh, when you see uh, things sold on the street, some of them saying, I like Elvis, and others saying other things, uh, do you get money for Elvis. each time? <laughs> <laughs> do you get a percentage when they sell an I hate Elvis button? To be truthful, I, I, I really don't know. Uh, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> yes, it, it, it is. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, in fact, I don't know who sells the I hate Elvis buttons. <laughs> well, it's the same man who sells the I like. <laughs>
Say, hey, Elvis, you come in for He's a lot a of... He's a communist. <laughs> you come in for a lot of criticism on your uh, wiggling on the stage, and some people have called it suggestive. Uh, do you mean it to be suggestive? No, I, I've, I've never thought of it as being suggestive. It's just... Well... Uh, it's, just, it's just my way of expressing the song. That's well, you seem to be popular enough on your singing and appearance alone. Uh, would you stop the wiggling if criticism grew too fast? No, sir, I can't. It's because, part uh, of you. It, it, it's... it's Toning it down. Like uh, two songs are called uh, "Love Me Tender, Love Me," they're kind of quiet. Well, uh, uh, to be truthful, I, I can't do ballads uh, nearly as well as I can the other kind because I don't have a voice for it. Do uh, you think uh, disc jockeys uh, <laughs> made you? Uh, definitely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, well, if it, disc jockeys didn't play it, the people couldn't hear it, so they wouldn't know what what was happening. You know. So. Uh, who were some of your favorites? I contributed to a little bit of everything. I contributed to largely to the people that have accepted me, and, and then the disc jockeys and, and, uh, and the good handling that I've had, the management and everything. Getting back to religious songs, if uh, you could put an album out, say a, an extended play, what songs would you put on it? I mean, have you ever considered any of them? Some of the ones you maybe know? Are you talking about religious? Religious songs, songs yes. Oh, I, I know practically every religious song that's ever been uh, written. Is that right? Yes. What do you think of Pat Boone? I think he's undoubtedly the finest voice out now, especially on slow songs. Which other uh, I mean, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that to make me look good. I actually think that. I mean, uh, I, I thought that, you know, Boone was recording before I was, and I bought his record even back then. What chance do you think the female vocalist has of getting in the limelight or on the top ten nowadays? Uh, you're talking about any female vocalist? No, just female vocalists in general. Oh, well, well, I mean, I do you like know. their singing? I, I, yes, uh, I would imagine it's just according to the songs they sing. I see. Uh, in other words, uh, your material can make you or break you. If you sing a good song, well, naturally it'll sell. If you sing a bad one, it won't. What is your favorite uh, female singer right now? Uh, Patty Page and Case uh, Star. What is the favorite of the songs you've recorded? Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. Yes, I've got a good one here. Why do all the good artists come from Tennessee? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is it real rhythm crazy down there? I mean, people are really happy for the music. I mean, because that's the way it sounds on record. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I suppose you're speaking of Pat Boone and, uh, uh, and yourself. Others, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I Elvis, are there any uh, uh, plans uh, in the immediate future for uh, marriage? No, sir. None whatsoever. How are your mom and dad? None that I know of. How are your mom and dad? Where are they now? Uh, they're in Memphis. They're they're at home. They uh, I talked to them this afternoon. Well, how do they feel about you being on the road all the time? I mean, doesn't it uh, bother them? And they like to see their son once in a while, I imagine. Well, <laughs> it's my life, you know. Yeah. And, uh, don't say too much about it. They accept it other ways. Yeah. One thing that's got a big plug recently is the fact that if you went into the Army, you'd have to have your hair cut. How do you feel on that? <coughs> well, I don't have a lot of newspaper publicity on it. Well, uh, I... Would it bother you, too? No, I don't care. It doesn't bother you. It'll grow back. I mean, if, if, it was, if, it was a, if, it, if it was a case of cutting it off and never having any more, then I would grumble. <laughs> but, <laughs> what about the sideburns trademark? Uh, trademark? Well, I'm, I'm stuck with them. I, I had them... I had them long when I was old enough to grow them. I'm about 16 years old. No particular time. reason. I just got stuck with them. I can't get rid of them now. <laughs> What's your age, Elvis? 22. How does it feel to be right at the top of the entertainment world? Are there any drawbacks to it? A few. <laughs> what are they? Well, you, uh, besides a million women. I, I guess these. I, it, 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 it has its uh, advantages and its disadvantages. Don't you uh, seek out privacy all the time, isn't that it? Yes, well, 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 that is the main thing. I mean, you naturally, you can't go places like other people. You can't go to ball games. You can't go to the uh, local theater and uh, things like that. Like uh, back at home, back at home, whenever I want to see a movie, well, I have the theater manager show it to me after the movie, after the, the theater closes up at night. We have a fairgrounds there, and I rent the fairgrounds after it closes up, and sometimes, you know, use it. <laughs> you, Well, in a lot of different in a lot of different ways, uh, they're just like they've always been. I mean, as far as being themselves, but it, it, uh, it it's a kind of a strain on them because, uh, you know, people never leave them alone. To be to be truthful about it. 
Yes. You moved into your new home in Graceland. Mm-hmm. I always we've heard newspaper accounts about a few uh, scuffles you've been in where the other fellows seem to get the uh, end of your fist. What about these newspaper reports? Are they accurate? Uh, yes, sir. I, I would imagine. Uh, what happened? Did you lose your temper? Well, just a case of get them or be got, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what started the incidents most of the time? Somebody hitting me or trying to hit me. I mean, I, I can I can take I can take all of you know I can take ridicule and slander and I've been called names you know right to my face and everything. That I can take, but I've had a few guys that tried to take a swing at me and naturally you can't just stand there. You got to do something. What's your favorite sport, Elvis? Football. You like playing football? Yes. Where were those pictures taken in that uh, fan mag there with you playing football? It was taken at a park near my house. That's down in Memphis? Yeah. I see. It's been said that you're only extravagant, sir, or extravagant have been your car. Would that be accurate? Uh, yes, it's accurate. I'm just now realizing how extravagant it was, but uh, because uh, I have too many. I mean, they just, nobody drives them. They set up and they get stale and... <laughs> The tires go down on them. Actually, I have no need for them. I just went, I just went crazy when I. What about shirts, Elvis? <laughs> Elvis, I just. Huh? What about your shirts? You got a pad for shirts, Elvis? Uh, I had a pair of shirts. Well, I tell you what, I did the other day. I, I, I had a, I have a, I had a German-made uh, Messerschmitt, a little car. Yeah. And there's a guy there in town that has been wanting that Messerschmitt for the last year. And so uh, he owns a clothing store, one of the top clothing stores in Memphis. So I went up there the other day and I told him, I said, you've been wanting a car so bad, I said, I'll make a deal with you. He said, okay. And I said, I said, you let me pick out all the clothes in here that I want, you can have the car. So I was up there for about two hours and a half, and the store was a wreck when I left. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of uh, serious music? Do you ever listen to it, Albert? Serious music? Like opera? Symphony? Uh, truthfully, I don't understand it. I'm, I'm not going to knock it. I just don't understand it, just like I don't understand jazz. What do you think of young actresses as dates? How do they compare with the girls back home that you dated before you were a star? Uh, well, they're just like everybody else. Uh, they, uh, they just got a lucky break and then life. They just, just like other girls. How about your fabulous collection of teddy bears? What uh, started that? All that got started from a rumor. It was an article that came out that I collected stuffed animals, and I was swamped with them. Actually, I mean, naturally, I keep them because the people give them to me, but uh, I never even thought of collecting stuffed animals in my life. Do you appreciate them now that you have them, or yes, you just, yes. you just save them? I keep them. I have them on, uh, all over the walls and in the, ba- in the chairs and everywhere else.